In this EU meeting, we're going to tackle the issue of survivorship. Uh, first of all, many people don't know what is survivorship. They usually are confound with overall survival. So it's important to really understand what is the present environment of prostate cancer patients from a patient society perspective. We as doctors, uh, we usually focus on the proportion of patients who die from the disease and we try to make overall survival better. Having said that, we have made enormous progress. If you take, for instance, high-risk localized disease, very high-risk localized disease, that were historically contributing to a lot of death. No, the overall survival of these patients at 10 years is somewhere like between 90 and 95 percent. Meaning what? Meaning that you have 10 times more patients that will survive from their cancer than they will die from their cancer. So what we are creating is a huge amount of patients which will not die from the, from the disease, but they will still suffer the consequences of the treatment. And if you look at many cancer, breast cancer, uh, testicular cancer, hematological diseases in the infancy, we almost cure this cancer. But we, have, we, we pay very little attention to what is the physical, emotional, socio-economical, professional consequences of the treatment. Because if you take a 55 years old man, which has high-risk localized disease, today, you probably can cure that guy. You can do surgery or radiotherapy, two, three year hormone therapy. We're gonna add new therapy on this. And we're gonna tell after five years, you know you are cured. But with what consequence are you cured? So it is time to realize that we should not only focus on those who die and putting all your money in increasing the overall survival by two, three person. Because when you have a disease, where overall survival is 95% at 15 years, it will be extremely expensive to gain another one or two person. What we have also is to switch our attention on the survivor. And then comes, together with survivorship, which are all the intervention you can do for these men. And a good example is androgen deprivation therapy. It's a backbone treatment, but it's extremely deleterious. You gain weight, you're getting fatigue, loss of libido. And we know, for instance, that exercising during your treatment would make you feel better. That is survivorship, increasing all they live with their treatment. That's where we have to put effort. And then you've got the third part, which is even more important, is quality. And quality of care and survivorship go together. Because once again, if you're taking that 95-person survivor, what's going to be, it's not 95-person, not every man has 9.5 chance of living. No, he's got somewhere between 8.5 and 100. And that difference is linked to the quality of the treatment he will receive 10 years before. And oh, he will live another 20 years without cancer will also depend on quality. And with a few other here at EAU, we believe a few years ago it is very important to make patient and doctor understanding that we need to switch our attention and maybe speak more about those who live and survive and how we can help them than those who die with the disease, which slowly but surely are becoming a very small minority.